Hello and welcome to Soul Drifter. Uh, I, I had recorded like a long video, but I don't know. It won't upload to YouTube for whatever reason. So here I am coming back to try and make a video again. So the longer video was kind of like a pretty almost complete, um, you know, playthrough. I'd made it pretty dang far, but I've kind of reached the point where it just seems like I'm never going to be able to get there. So... Uh, I, I, it just seems like it's never gonna upload, so I just, I, I'm just, you know, I'm here making this video. So anyway, uh, I do want to point out that I did receive a free copy of the game from the developer, uh, so thank you to them, and, um, you know, now that I've taken a little bit of time off from my three and a half hour experience, um, I get to, uh, try to do this a little bit, um... I guess, uh, more positively, I guess, is the word that I think I'm looking for, and... Alright, so typically the... <laughs> typically the water kills you. Uh... <sighs> so... Um... Yeah, overall, like, I would say the game probably can be completed in about uh, three hours or so, maybe three and a half, maybe four. Um, the reason it's taken me so long to finish is because I lack some of the skills that I think are required to really uh, excel at it in a way that will allow you to, um, you know, do, like, an exceptional job. Uh, that being said, um, the experience has been a rather memorable one albeit a bit on the frustrating side and I don't like doing reviews because they just feel wrong for me like they just never manage to um, really fit my gameplay style it just doesn't make any sense but I'm in a situation where I don't have a choice I have no other alternative than to do actually pretty much the equivalent of a review at this point because again like I said three and a half hours never gonna upload for whatever reason because youtube doesn't like me today and um you know i still want to make the video uh of some sort because the game certainly deserves some media coverage um because it is ultimately a very good game um i just think towards the end it begins to kind of fall apart a little bit not like fall apart like and from any kind of functional means it's just the difficulty spikes in such a way that it becomes this really frustrating experience i guess if you're like really really good at first person parkour games maybe you won't run into the problems that i did maybe you will look at this situation and just continue having a great time I unfortunately just didn't run into that um, scenario um, and uh, the amount of times that I became so frustrated that I didn't want to play anymore um, here towards the end is rather insane in a way I guess um, And that's really not, like, the proper thing to say. It's not that it's insane. It just, um... God, it just... The difficulty spikes in such a way that, um... I was really surprised by it. And it became a really frustrating experience because... Try as I might, I would just run into these scenarios where... No matter how good, um, I felt I was doing... None of it was ever quite good enough. And, um... I would have to start over, and that would be kind of really enraging. Uh, some of the mechanics that you get do not really make an appearance until towards the end of the game, like where I am now, which is kind of an odd... It's an odd choice. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't understand it completely. I don't know why we don't start to crouch until um, we've made it, um, you know, here where I feel I'm probably towards the end of the game. I'm not 100% sure. I am fairly positive this is towards the end, but I I don't know for sure. I have to guess a little bit. And um, 
you know, the biggest problem that I feel the game suffers from here at the end is, um, despite the fact we are so close to the end, there's a l huge level of frustration involved with kind of like what we're accomplishing and what we're trying to do. Um, part of that is because of how some of the stuff works for, you know, kind of your stamina system you know the stamina system is overall I think relatively good but it just you get these like situations where it's just kind of you know you really have no room for error and without the ability to make those mistakes you just can run into this really just I want to shove my head into the wall and and pull an episode from From, which I, I don't want to spoil any further because it's an excellent show. Um, but anyway, the point is the game definitely has a lot going for it. I think uh, the parkour elements are really good. The level design is really, really cool. The game world itself is really cool as well. I feel bad for not being able to upload the entire... Uh, three and a half hour gameplay video that I had been working on today that I, that I played. I guess I should have taken some breaks or something uh, to break the video down into size. I don't know, but I don't know. Normally, like, I don't have an issue getting stuff recorded and then put on YouTube, but for whatever reason, this video just refuses to upload. Um, you know, which obviously puts me in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, so anyway, but moving on, uh, again, like I said, this is going to be some, some, some gameplay videos, some, some review of sorts. Uh, I imagine at this point, this is probably like the last 30 minutes or so of the game. And it's cool that I've gotten this far, um, but I've gotten a little further than this uh, before I stopped making the video because I was well I was so upset with the frustrations that I just didn't want to do it anymore I just kind of reached a point where I'd, I'd had enough and I think it's like a normal thing that could happen uh, to anybody just because some of the places are a little bit difficult the nice thing about this portion of the game is it still gives you a pretty good idea of, of what to expect for the entire part of the game like it's not going to be it's not going to be exactly the same like you don't run into as much of these um, weird light sources through every part of the game but um, the central vibe is there don't touch the light because you're light and if you um, do that uh, then you will I don't know die I guess it's kind of weird. There's a lot of stuff in this, you know, I don't know. Let's just let's talk about the story, shall we? The story is one that is, you know, it's kind of told through a couple of different ways. Part of it is you have these um, tablets you find um, throughout the game world that give you a little bit of story about uh, what has happened on this planet. And essentially... The short version is, um, you know, I don't know, people or something came to the planet because um, they crashed or they had ship problems or whatever. And then they decided they would start making this into a place that worked for them because they were trying to be able to get back to their ship and whatnot. But then they ran into trouble with power sources. And um, as you notice, we are a type of um, bipedal life form that... Um, as um, glowing arms and it turns out that our blood is basically electricity and um, well the uh, ship faring place people they decided that they were going to utilize us for uh, the purpose of well um, energy and it's like okay whatever uh, unfortunately that is a bad thing it's very sad and, you know you've been kind of selected to um save your, for lack of better word, your people, kinda. 
And uh, that is the goal in which you are doing through traveling the world and, you know, reaching a certain point where things are. And then you kind of unlock some stuff and then it's like, oh boy, I've saved them. I'm the bestest ever. And everybody's happy. Um, that's not true. Nobody's, nobody's happy yet. Um, or you can be like me and you can be so frustrated to go and eat a oh, half a bag of Cheetos to try to drown your sorrows. It's not one of my best moments. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, so we kind of just keep going through and the whole point is to try to get, you know, through all these locations and do stuff and... Uh, the game presents a lot of different options on how we will traverse the world. And it is really well done. It is really cool. Uh, and then there's times like this where it's a little bit on the frustrating side. Where you have to have this like level of precision that if you don't get right, it's just... It's a little bit on the frustrating side. Because it can be really hard to like avoid stuff and then you get stuck with this you have to go back and you have to do all these things that you just did that you don't want to do again because they were um you know a little bit difficult to do the first time or they weren't so fun or there's this reason you don't want to do it again it doesn't matter the fact is you don't have a lot of room for error um for a lot of these situations and i think personally that um kind of hurt the game for me And, um, yeah, without being able to get the, um, the little jump power or the dash power, I can't make it through there. So, like, this is, like, part of the problem that I ran into. And I think it's a problem that really only makes itself present towards the end of the game. Like, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem leading up to this area of the game. And I know, you know, we're here at the end, we're at the hard part. So you kind of think like, well, you know, it doesn't make sense. Like, it should be hard towards the end. What is he complaining about? Um, I just think it's too hard at the end. And it's just hard in a way that, um, you know, doesn't necessarily bring the game any kind of benefit. It just kind of makes the game this really frustrating experience because you just seem to struggle to get through different things and... You know, it just throws all these little extra things at you that um, weren't really, I guess, part of the scenario before. Like, they didn't, at least they didn't seem like it. Uh, and it's also probably just this matter of, like, having to get everything right. Uh, in a game that, uh, well, honestly, like, for the most part, I would say it does a very good job of sticking to the whole like don't make mistakes be careful but everything was reasonable like um you know it didn't necessarily you didn't have to be perfect there were mistakes that could be made and you could still do things okay um uh, but yeah this last stage is like there are zero mistakes you can make whatsoever and it's just kind of crazy to me that it is such a requirement um to make no mistakes and it just kind of hurts the experience, in my my opinion, because it just becomes this really difficult, uh, really difficult experience that is borderline frustrating. Uh, and depending on how you you know, depending on how you feel, it may become too frustrating to continue, which is what happened to me. Um, which is why I stopped at the three and a half hour mark instead of actually finishing the game and um i have no idea if that video is ever gonna like see the light of youtube um but it might and i think um if i recall correctly this is uh yeah this is where i i gave up because this is such um such a frustrating portion of the game that you know no even though i know that i am right at the end the whole concept of actually pushing through to reach the ending just doesn't feel like it's worth it based on the pain and suffering that I'm going through trying to accomplish this level. Um, which is obviously not the scenario you want to be in when you're playing a game and you've devoted three and a half hours to playing it. 
Um, and it, you know, begs the question of whether or not, if I hadn't received this game for free, would I have bought it? Because, you know, I do like parkour games, but I don't like um, precision platformers. It's a, an odd mixture, I guess, because they're not synonymous with each other, but I would say that um, you are more likely to require precision with uh, first-person parkour titles, uh, or really any parkour title, than probably most other genres. So it doesn't make sense to, to nitpick precision-wise uh, when it comes to my personal choice. But, um, yeah. Overall, I would say that, you know, it's definitely a game that... Um, I, I I would encourage you to give it a go. Like, I mean, you know, at the very least, throw it on your wish list and buy it when it's on sale or something. Because, um, like I said, you're going to get at least... You're going to get at least three and a half hours of play out of it before you... Unless you get frustrated before that. Um, I, wish the, I wish this style of level had been kind of, like, available early on in the game. Uh, just to give you a good idea of, like, the difficulty you would run into... Uh, because it would have given me a really good easy out, I guess, of stopping 10 to 20 minutes, or, well, 20 to 30 minutes into the gameplay instead of trying to uh, push out a much longer video. Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I need to be doing the dash. There should be a jump and then a dash. That'll probably... That'll probably be what I need to do here. And then that'll make me feel bad for um, not figuring that out earlier. But when you try like a lot of things and nothing seems to work, you just keep trying the same thing over and over again. Uh, because little mistakes like that happen and you have to go back and do everything again. It just becomes really, really infuriating. Nobody makes sandwiches like that. You know, if I make a sandwich and I put too much mayonnaise on it, I just eat the sandwich. Doesn't matter. It's a sandwich, and it's mayonnaise, it's not bad for you, it's like eggs and stuff. I mean, I guess if you're allergic to eggs, you could eat Miracle Whip, but oh gosh, I... I would ask that you don't, because you'll ruin your sandwich experience. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Oh, no, I was wrong. Dash is not the right choice. I'm going to have to jump twice. I don't even know how to make this... I've tried this, um, I don't know, probably close to 30, 40 times, and I just can't do it. Um, now that I've made it this far, like, it's it's another situation where I've come so close to the end, where I've sunk all this time into it, you know, like, over three hours at this point, probably closer to four at this point. You know, there's, like, a good portion of my day was spent playing this, just, you know, partially enjoying myself, partially wanting to um, scream at the game. Or being just ridiculously difficult for reasons that only it could know. Um, oh, this could be the time. Ah, oh, no, it's not the time because I still didn't get it because I have no room for error whatsoever. And then I have to go doing all this over again and I don't want to... <sighs> so let me just figure out if I can figure out the last of the things that I want to say about it. So, I mean, overall, like, the platforming is really good. The level design is um, really interesting. This uh, area is uh, the most science fiction-ish of the, um, the area, I would say, because a lot of this... A lot of the places are outside, and, and they look really cool. Um, the best way for me to explain it is to say that imagine this is a planet that was once underwater and it's no longer underwater because um climate change no no not really but but it's no longer underwater that's the important part but a lot of the visuals that you see give you the um, idea that the place used to be full of water lush and luxurious um, until, like, you know, there was basically catastrophic climate change. Because that's essentially the easiest way to explain it, I think. Now, I know some people, like, would be kind of, like, I don't know, ridiculous about the, uh, the whole climate change nonsense. But it's not like the game tells you, like, all oh, this is climate change. But ultimately, like, somebody came here and they started doing stuff to the planet and they ruined it. 
I mean, you don't need much better of an explanation that it's probably climate change than that, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, again, anyway, so like I said, the, um, level design is really good. This, this may not be the best showcase of what there is to see, uh, but I think the trailer really kind of shows you enough, uh, to give you a much better idea, uh, of what to experience. You unlock, uh, well, you don't unlock things, uh, which is, it's gonna be something I'm gonna complain about. I don't know how to, again, I don't do reviews, man, or I try not to because they just don't feel right. Um, so I guess, but from a review aspect, I could say that, um, part of the problem that I've run into is in a lot of games that have you, like, progressing through and doing stuff, oh my god, I'm gonna make it, let's not talk, let's just, um, god, fudge buckets, man, I was so close, I almost had it, uh, oh, why do you do this to me, <sighs> anyway, I don't do reviews very often because it's hard to stay on track for me and it just doesn't feel right at all. And, um, <sighs> but anyway, the, 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 the point of the level design that I'm saying is outside of these final levels that have given me nothing but headaches, uh, despite the fact that I may look like I'm doing fairly well up until a certain point, um, this has been, like, the most frustrating experience in my gaming history of 2024. And I have played a lot of games in 2024, but the final stages of this game have made me rethink my entire, uh, you know, aspect of being, like, a content creator. And I just feel like I'm not... I, I don't know that I, I'm gonna keep doing it because... Um, I don't really like doing reviews. I like doing playthroughs of stuff, but when I run into a situation where I enjoy a game up to a certain point because of difficulty or whatever the point is, part of me still really wants to, you know, finish, you know, the experience because, you know, on one hand, the game was given to me, and on the other hand, you know, it's like I've gone so far. Uh, and maybe this is the farthest I've made it this part. So, uh, oh god, we might actually get to see the ending. So that's, that's uh, a really positive thing. Oh, holy crap. I actually made it far enough to, to potentially make this happen. Anyway, um, but again, um, yeah, level design outside of the very final levels of the game, which is uh, where I'm presuming we are now, because that's what it looks like. Uh, I have found the game to be, you know, really nicely designed. I think it just, um, you know, here at the end, because the game is, I don't know, meant to be difficult, I guess. What's down here? Probably not, like, a good idea. See, these are the people. That's why I think that, like, when they first got here, it was all underwater. But it doesn't explain why we can't be underwater. What happens? Can I get, like, squished? Oh. No. Alright, well, I, occasionally I do some stupid adventuring, which gets me killed. Uh, yeah. So, the level design, as you saw, like, it does have, like, a lot of these little mixtures of things that you get to do. Like, occasionally we have, um, you know, tunnels to jump through, stuff to dodge through. There's a lot of jumping involved, a double jump, and the way it works is we find these balls of energy, which then give us the ability to utilize our balls that we just got to do activities, just like real balls, uh, soccer balls and whatnot, you know, not, not those kinds of balls. And, um... Okay, apparently that step was a little too much. But it does a good job overall of introducing these new, like, mechanics of things that we're going to experience and everything. Uh, minus the craft, or not the crafting, minus the crouching. We never really make that much use of crouching, and there are times that it probably would have been useful to use it, but I didn't even know I could do it because, if I, you know, I guess if I had read the instructions for the uh, controls, I would have known, but um, there just wasn't a use uh, for it that I really knew of. 
uh, until it actually told me, like, hey, use uh, C to crouch, dude. Alright, so we got another one of these where we're going to flip some switches and climb everywhere. <sighs> Swear, man. The um, hit detection is not always uh, great. And when it is not great, it can be this really frustrating experience because, well, you're, um, you know, getting hit by things when you don't feel you should. And uh, whether or not you should, I couldn't tell you. I don't want to tell you that, um, you know, you're not so you shouldn't have got hit or whatever, but. It's just the um, there's a reasonable expectation that your choices should not always result in death, and they often do, and it becomes really frustrating. So anyway, uh, yeah. Anyways, again, level design. I, like I said, just remember I don't do reviews because it's hard for me to keep on track. So I warned you. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Yeah, you know, like it again, it just kind of, I don't know, this last stage is um, really pushing my buttons with the, the way it works because you try to like do this stuff and you like, there's just like, you make just the tiniest mistake and then you die and then you have to do it all over again and that's really frustrating. Uh, so let's move on and talk about something uh, a little bit uh, brighter. Uh, the graphics. The graphics for the game are nice. I, I think they look really good. This is like, you know, again, like I said, this is like the most sci-fi looking place uh, that the game kind of gives us. Uh, I think the other areas are more fantasy-esque, but uh, I think it's really up to interpretation. There definitely is like a level of... <sighs> there definitely is a level of science fiction in some of the places, but... Uh, the music is mostly like this kind of melancholic uh, ambient style music, which I think does a really good job for for what we're getting. I think the game does a good job with the music. I find it to be rather appealing. And um, yeah, I just I feel like it uh, does a good job for um, really setting the mood for, um, you know, the game that we've been given to play. And I like it. I have no complaints over the music. Uh, one of the things... <sighs> one of the things I like about the music is occasionally when we enter certain stages we'll get like this um, kind of like fast-paced uh, music. Like it, uh, the game's way of telling you like, hey, this, this is going to be more intense location or something um, and I don't really know that saying it's going to be more intense is actually accurate but uh, it does a good job of giving you like this change of pace almost uh, there's a couple of level areas that um, have you like doing a lot of sliding and stuff and those are really cool and I wish it had I wish it had many more of those um, yeah, so that's, uh, level design and stuff. 
the music and sounds. I guess it ultimately comes down to like fun factor. You know, how fun is the game? And um, is it Mirror's Edge fun or is it, um, you know, something kind of in between? Uh, and I would say it's probably somewhere in between. Mirror's Edge will always be like one of my, I think, favorite first person parkour style games. Uh, I just feel like Mirror's Edge was like one of the first games to really kind of pull things off in a way that worked really, really well. Uh, and it had a fairly okay story. Uh, I don't really remember too much of the story. But to uh, this game's credit, I won't really probably remember the story here either. I do like the way the story unfolds, but it hasn't really felt like a real central part of the the experience overall. So I, I don't see myself really remembering it. Um, that is part of the problem that I've run in with the experience is because the game doesn't have like the story that really makes you want to do this. Like you, you have to kind of ask yourself, why are you still doing this? Especially when you reach the stage that you were just incredibly frustrated and um, for me the, you know the it's it's hard to say I, I don't know I missed the fan I was trying to regenerate my stamina again um, part of it is because you know I was given the game and you know in order to live or in order to leave like the best possible and realistic steam review Playing through the entire game is, uh, you know, the most helpful, I think, you know. But um, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to because I, I just, I've reached a point where I just, I'm tired of the failure. And the experience, while cool, hasn't been, um, you know, so good that I would, you know, want to come back to it after I stop again. Uh, the only reason I'm here now is because, you know, the uh, video that I did didn't seem to work. Uh, and there's, like, little stuff like this where, like, I'm trying to jump off this dang wall and for whatever reason, like, despite feeling as though I am getting the timing right, apparently I am not, which is resulting in my death, which means I have to go back through and do all of this again and again and I'm tired of repeating the whole process so it's just I don't know I I feel like there's just certainly some kind of tweaking that might have benefited the game a little bit um, I don't know but anyway, overall fun factor, I do think the game is fun. I, you know, up until, like, this part of the game, I have enjoyed it. You know, the problem that I've run into with not enjoying it towards the end is it does make me question on whether or not the entire gameplay was worth it. Um, if I had bought the game, would I have even continued playing it, or would I have given up um, a long time ago when I became super frustrated? And the answer is I would have given up. I would have given up out of frustration because I have some 366 games I've bought this year that I've been wanting to play, um, but I haven't had time to play. So it is um, definitely a matter of personal opinion, I think, on um, how much enjoy enjoyment you'll get out of it. Um, if you really like parkour-style games and you're looking for something that has, you know, challenge, I think this is a, a really good choice, to be completely honest with you. I do. I really do think it is a good choice. It, it has, you know, the the interesting game world, uh, the pretty satisfying level design and, you know, locations and everything that you get to do and do all this stuff. Um, you just have to, like, deal with the frustrations here at the end. And that's the crazy thing is the cr I didn't really get frustrated until the end. Um, So yeah, I don't know, I'm going to try this like a few more times. Um, I don't know, we'll say three times, I guess. 
That's been kind of like my magic number. What did I even touch, man? What did I even touch? I, I think that's like, I don't know. That's that's. It's really been what's killing it for me is you know this whole scenario where I've gotten so close and I keep failing through like these really, really tiny um, mistakes, essentially, and uh, those tiny mistakes don't always feel legitimate, I guess. And yeah, like, I mean, it's just as satisfying as it probably would be to actually finish the game. I just find I'm in the same boat that I was earlier where I'm just trying to push through the end of the game um, out of spite. And um, it just doesn't make any sense. How many times is that? I don't know. We'll give it three more times from now since I, I lost count. What the f that was one. Are you serious, man? I'm so tired of this, like, stupid nonsense, man. That just... This is what happened last time I was playing, and I just got super butt hurt and upset, and then I quit. Um, I don't like it when a game does that. Uh, to, like, make me upset. Um, I have found, uh, like, one of my issues is when I start to get upset... If I'm upset about one thing, like, everything will make me upset. And then as I get upset, then it carries over into everything else, and it just makes my life worse. So, um, you know, if a game makes me upset, I'm, I don't really continue playing it. And um, that's that's honestly, uh, that's honestly where I am. Um, I just find this whole final bit so frustrating. Uh, and, you know, I definitely wish, you know, that I, I was able to get, like, the three and a half hour long video. Uh, just because you can watch, like, <laughs> you can watch the way things um, kind of just spiral out of control as, you know, things kind of kind of happen. Like, because there's a point where I, I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I, I'm going to do it. I can make it to the end. And then things get worse. And then I decide not to. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this whole three times rule. I'll try three times if I make it awesome uh and then that worked right and because it was working i was like oh wow this is a uh, great news um but ultimately you know it, it still ended in like severe frustration so
I'm definitely not a fan of like these little stupid tiny mistakes like that that happen that just kind of ruin the whole scenario. Uh, or, or that, like I just barely missed stuff. There is like a quick restart, which I just used. Uh, saves you a little bit of time, not a lot. You know, it ultimately doesn't fix the problems that I'm running into here with having to restart this whole area. This is it. This is the last time, and I do. I will be legitimately giving up at this point. Uh, okay, well, not this time because I wasn't done talking, but. You know, one really good attempt here, then I will quit. Um, the link is going to be in the description if you want to give it a shot, if you want to take a look at it, if you want to see how you might feel about it. Watch the trailer, um, you know, read the store page, do all those things. You know, if you. If you're not sure, just toss it on your wish list, and um, you can always pick it up at another time when you feel like picking it up. Don't be discouraged by my terrible gameplay. I'm sure that you will do much, much better. Um, and um, even then, there are very few diff there are very few games I think that kind of you know kind of pull off the experience we get here. Um, you know, despite my experience evolving into this giant measure of frustration. I think that's a, like an important thing to be able to do as a player as a content creator is um, even on those times You know those times where you're struggling and you're not doing a good job and you're just not having a fun time anymore? Uh, still be able to say that like the game is worth trying for others. Man, I just, I am, I was like, I just, I don't understand, man. How can you have, like, such a strong experience in the beginning and just completely fall apart at the end? Um, all because of, like, you know, the difficulty. You know, and, and I definitely feel as though the game had pretty a pretty balanced increase of difficulty. So it's not like it just suddenly, you know, became, you know, tough. I mean, technically, it did suddenly become tough because it wasn't really that tough until um, here at the end. I don't... I don't get it, man. This is like, it seems like there's just certain these, these certain areas where you start to wonder if maybe you're doing things wrong, but uh, then you look at it and it's like, you're not doing anything wrong. There's no other, there's not really any other way you could do it. It just, the timing requirements are so sp precise that you have no room for error and I just, I don't play well with that sort of thing.
And I, I, I don't understand how this aspect right here is supposed to work. Uh, I was going to quit. I don't know why I'm still going. That false sense of hope, I guess, because I've gotten kind of close to it. Um, close to the ends, close to making progress. Felt good about myself. But then every time something happens that's stupid that I die, I just... I, yeah. All right, legitimately, finally, the last time uh, this video was only supposed to be a short one. God. The end. Links in the description. Yay.